Okay, the project that I've affectionately dubbed the aluminum tent camper is complete. This is a 6x10 cargo trailer with a 6 foot 3 interior height. It's got a 2 inch ball on it and a 2,000 pound crank jack. Total weight of the trailer after we got done with the conversion came in at right at 2,000 pounds. As we walk around the driver's side, you'll see the 110 volt power inlet and you will see two 12 by 18 windows. Windows are big enough to let ventilation in, but not so big to let somebody in, which is a good thing because this trailer belongs to a lady who is an avid tent camper, but has decided that she does not want to sleep on the ground anymore. If we come around the back, you'll see that the trailer has barn doors on the rear. She opted for barn doors over the ramp just because she thought they would be more convenient to use. And as we shoot down the side, the passenger side, you'll see another window and a 36 inch RV door. The flooring is a vinyl plank flooring, which is waterproof, pretty much scuff proof, I should know, because I've dropped enough stuff on it. And it runs throughout the trailer up under the cabinets in the front. The cabinets are white wood pine that was torched and coated with two coats of satin water-based polyurethane. I like to use the satin polyurethane because it doesn't have too much sheen and the water base lets the wood come through. It doesn't have the amber tint that oil base does. We also have a good sized shelf up above that the microwave is mounted on which gives her a ton of space for when she's out. You'll notice that the door stop isn't secured and that's because she's not sure if she wants to use it or if she wants to put an exterior door catch on it because her plan is to use a uh, screen over the door opening and have the door open as much as possible. The walls are eighth inch underlay plywood that was placed on top of the factory 3 8 plywood. Then we primed it and painted it. The ceiling is quarter inch underlay plywood that we primed and painted and we installed five three inch LED recessed lights. We also installed a Hengs powered vent fan insert. This fan is a 12 volt fan and it fits in an existing roof vent so there's no need to remove a roof vent and put a new one in. For those of you that have wondered how loud these things are, this is the fan running on low. That's medium. And that's high. And I have the camera about a foot and a half away from the fan. On high, it's a little bit noisier than the higher priced fans, but the price point makes the noise bearable, at least in my opinion. It is where we've got the porta potty stored, and there is a 20 amp EP Ever MPPT charge controller. We went with the 20 amp because we don't have room for expansion on the roof of this. We've also got two six gallon water jugs, one for gray and one for fresh, and back in the back, hidden behind the drain, is the 110 volt breaker box. The refrigerator is a 3.1 cubic foot fridge-freezer combination. She wanted a refrigerator this big because she wanted the extra freezer space. To the left of the refrigerator, you see a 12 volt USB port that's got a battery meter in it and the remote on-off switch for her 1500 watt inverter which is underneath the cabinets up on the V-wall. The switch on the wall is a 30 amp manual transfer switch. In the down position, the trailer runs off of shore power. The middle position is a neutral, and when you flip the switch up, the trailer then runs off of the solar power. The 1500 watt inverter gives her plenty of inverter to run her fridge and fire the microwave off at the same time. Unfortunately, we don't have enough battery or solar panel up there to run an air conditioner, which she did not ask for. She decided that she didn't want to permanently install an air conditioner. She said she has a small portable unit that will 
suffice if she needs one when she goes out. The countertop is a high pressure plastic laminate. These are pretty indestructible, waterproof, pretty much scratch proof. You just can't put a hot pan on it. But she has no intentions of cooking inside the trailer. From the front back, the two rear doors were just clear coated. She's gonna put a rail system on there and use them to hang things such as TV trays for eating and crafting on and her electric cords, etc. This was not a complex build by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a build that was done to give a lady exactly what she wants to be able to continue camping and be comfortable. The trailer will keep her warm in the winter, cool in the summer, especially if she takes her air conditioner with her. It will keep her dry. She'll be able to put more of a bed in here than she could get into in a tent. And she doesn't have to worry about the aches and pains of sleeping on the ground. I think we got her what she wanted with this trailer. We'll find out for sure when she picks it up tomorrow, but so far she's been extremely happy with everything that's in there. So what we try to do, we try to make sure that the people get what they want and that they're happy with what they get. And the last thing I'm going to say about the trailer is actually about the video. If you liked it, give the video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Everything helps. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.